welcome back to my channel my name is Natasha for those of you who are new and if you're not new hey guys so today we're gonna to be doing another hair video but this one's gonna be a little bit more informative or educational and hopefully helpful for you guys at home so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I customize my wigs in detail and also how I install my wigs which I show all the time but I feel like I just be showing you guys looks but this time I want to educate you guys and I want y'all to leave this video learning something okay so the only thing that I did not do in this video was styling because the hair is beautiful as is I did not have to do anything to this hair you guys I love me an effortless moment okay so if you want to see how I got this gorgeous install like look at it it's so cute mm -hmm. make sure you guys are one check in the description box um, all of Ali Pearl's information will be listed down below subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos and like the video so that I know that you feeling it and keep watching all right guys so we're gonna be working with Ali Pearl hair and we're working with this 28 inch loose deep wave texture it has a 13 by 4 frontal and it is 200 percent density so i'm showing you guys the knots up close because we're going to start by bleaching the knots so personally when i start with bleaching the knots i like to spray water on the frontal and brush it back versus hairspray i know a lot of people suggest hairspray but what happens is Sometimes you could spray too much hairspray or the, the hairspray may be too hard of a hold and it plasters the hair down to the frontal and you end up actually bleaching the hair and not just the knots. So I like to just spritz it with a little bit of water, brush it back, make sure there's no flyaways and this is how your frontal should be looking and then we could proceed to um, bleaching the knots. So as you can see, it does come pre-plugged. It does not look bad. This is going to be a very easy unit to work with. And this is the inside. Like I said, it's a 13 by 4 and it is, a, it is 13 by 4 from ear to ear. So I'm showing you my nails because we need to wear some gloves. I just got my nails done this day. So I was like, oh no, no, no. We're going to protect, protect our nails. Okay. So I'm going to be using um, 40 volume developer and also BW bleach. I personally like, I'm going to show you guys right now. I personally like the BW Bleach the most for my knots because it really penetrates the knots. Sometimes knots are a little thicker. These were not that thick, but whenever I've used anything else, maybe higher quality or whatever, it just does not work for me. Um, and I like using Ion um, Developer as well because I feel like it's not super harsh on the hair and does not cause the frontal to shed. So I use two scoops of the bleach and then um, I'm going to show you guys how I kind of measure the developer there's no method to it you just have to eyeball it so i like to just like put it in there like that like just like that and then i'll mix it and then i'll add more it's always easier to add more it's more of a hassle to add more powder so just kind of add the developer as you go and just mix it mix it mix it it's going to be really it's going to turn into like a thick paste and this is the thing you want the consistency of the developer to be thick but you do not want it to be unspreadable. And we I've done that in the past. So like this is too thick. As you can see, it's like chunky. It's not gonna spread evenly in the frontal. So I'm gonna have to add a little bit more. And that's just an, okay, okay, Tasha, dang. But also just eyeball it. I'm gonna be mixing it. I zoomed in so you guys can see the texture. It is gonna be like a, imagine it like toothpaste, but if you whipped it. So you want it thick like toothpaste, but you want it to also be spreadable. You do not want it to be, unmovable or your your knots are going to bleach unevenly and it's just going to be chunky and it's just not going to look good and you also kind of want it whipped so that it can kind of penetrate the knots in a sense so that it gives that more scalp like effect so i'm just mixing it with a little whisk in my opinion a whisk is the best thing to mix it with and as you can see it is a nice thick mixture and when i use two scoops of bleach and whatever measurement of developer I do, it is just enough for the frontal. You guys will see it's an exact amount so you will not be wasting any product. If you don't want to use buy all of this, um, you can buy a packet of the BW the, um, bleach and you can buy a mini thing of developer and that should be just enough. So I'm taking my brush and I'm literally just going to spread it like some butter on bread, okay? And I'm going to spread it throughout the frontal and make sure that it's even. I don't want any like chunky pieces anywhere. I want it to be as even as possible so everything can process and bleach the same.
So this is how your frontal should be looking after you bleached it. I like to make sure I get high enough so that I'm covering all the strands of hair, especially in the front, because that's where you want the scalp effect, all right? So I let that sit on there for about 30 minutes. You can eyeball it all, wigs are different, all knots are different, but about 30 to 40 minutes is my ideal. Like I said, I kind of like to over bleach my knots because it gives more of a scalp effect. But again, just watch it if you are new here. So I'm just rinsing it off. And for me, I have a special little process when it comes to washing my frontal area. I like to rinse it out thoroughly. Also make sure you're rinsing out the cap because as you're rinsing out the bleach, it's going to get in the cap and you do not want it irritating your scalp if you're installing this wig. For somebody like me, I don't wear my wigs long. But, you know, if you're wearing your wig for a week, two weeks at a time, whatever it may be, or even a day, you do not want that bleach irritating your scalp or your hair. So I go on with the Dawn soap or any dishwashing liquid I have. I typically buy Dawn though because it, it be getting the grease and whatever out, okay? And I just lather up that frontal just to get that product out of there. Either that or a neutralizing shampoo should work. A neutralizing shampoo is gonna be just as good as, or a clarifying shampoo as well, but I just like to use good old Dawn and it really cleans it. I know my scalp's not gonna be irritated. You know, you do have to apply the frontal to your forehead, so you don't want that product on your forehead as well so I just rinse that out thoroughly and just a disclaimer I know it looks like I am moving so roughly with the frontal be gentle um, I do this all the time so it's like nothing to me but also it just looks like I'm being rough but I was not being rough so the next step with the frontal is going to be toning the knots so when you bleach the knots they do have that orangey tint as you can see which means it is bleached correctly but you don't want it to look very brassy so what i do is i take purple shampoo and i will lather it up again and i leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes all purple shampoo is going to be different but again just eyeball it so that it can neutralize that color out and not have that orangey brassy tint which is going to kind of give you away we don't we don't want people to know you got a wig on you could know but you ain't gotta know all right so after i do that i rinse it out and um after letting it sit of course and then i do proceed to washing my wig i always wash my wigs before i put them on or i try to because i just feel like the hair bounces a different way it's fuller it has a, a nice smell to it a luster when you wash it and you can see the true integrity of the hair after washing it so i will highly suggest doing that so today i'm using my aussie total miracle shampoo and deep conditioner and i'm gonna just lather it through and make sure you're really combing through the hair rinsing it out and all that and then i use the aussie um, deep conditioner because this is curly hair so you really want to uh, make sure that the curls are bouncing back it has a luster it has a bounce to it and it only takes three minutes like it's like a three minute deep conditioner it doesn't have to sit on for like 15 minutes or anything like that and that is pretty much the first step of getting your wig together which i'm gonna let you guys know this took me um i did this all in one day so for me this is easy you can do this the day before if you want to take your time but this literally takes me one day and also this was curly hair so i knew i wouldn't have to style it so it was not going to be overwhelming i literally just had to like zhuzh it up a little bit you know So now it's time to pluck our wig. So as you can see, the hairline does not look bad. If you wanted to, you can really get away with this, but we like to give scalp, like this is giving scalp, but we wanna give scalp, okay? So I'm gonna be plucking behind the hairline. Um, you can part off as much as you want. I just like to part off like a little slither, which would kind of be my baby hairs. Of course, all of this is not gonna be my baby hair, but you wanna pluck behind the hairline to, um, 
avoid balding or like a receding hairline it's just a lot easier so i'm going to be using a regular tweezer these are revlon got them from walgreens a while ago and i'm just going to start plucking if you guys haven't noticed in this video i have not sped anything up or anything like that i want to show you guys in true time or sorry in real time how i'm doing this and it is not that hard so if you need to play back this video and do it step by step as you're actually actually doing your hair by all means do that take your time take notes and get it right okay so i'm just plucking the hair and there's no right or wrong a lot of people like to mimic their hairline a lot of people like to create a different hairline a lot of people like a thinner hairline a lot of people like a thicker hairline this is all your preference again i'm just here for a guide but um all i can tell you is do not pluck in one place and comb through as you pluck um and just kind of like keep going back and forth go up 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 go down 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 pluck you guys will see the motion that i'm doing and it just makes it see that came out in just that plucking so i'm getting closer to you and i like to like pull my hair while i'm plucking it so i can see it i think it's called like the scalp method or something because you can see how your hair will basically look back look if you were to pull it back which gives it more of a scalp look so i'm just getting rid of some of that density in the frontal area so that when i put it on my head it looks nice and flat and very realistic so as you can see it is definitely getting a lot thinner which i love and it's not balding anywhere so a lot of times if you pluck in the same spot it's gonna get bald so you just have to keep moving up and down up and down you see how i'm like going down 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 then i go back go down 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 um i do like to slightly over pluck my frontal as well because i personally have a very uneven hairline and a thinner hairline so it just makes it easier so even now you see i pulled it back it's a lot less dense and it looks more realistic but to make it look a little bit more realistic i'm gonna start plucking the front but when you pluck the front of your wig you don't have to pluck as much because you've already plucked behind the hairline if we were to do as much plucking as we i just showed you without pulling out those baby hairs i promise you your wig will be bald so just try to pluck behind the hairline and just take your time this takes me about 30 to 40 minutes to pluck it correctly i take my time i don't rush it because you don't want to rush because you can put holes in your lace and you don't want to like rush it because you might not pluck enough so i do that throughout the whole hairline um, but I like to work in sections. I do each side and then I do the front. The front of the wig, you typically don't have to pluck as much. You want to keep that um, density because of the. if you wear a middle part, you don't want it to look balding or anything like that. So look how it's just starting to give scalp. And also, I forgot to mention this. You have to bleach your knots first. Do this in this order because when you bleach your knots, it loosens it up and it's easier to pluck. If you pluck your wig without bleaching it first, it is definitely going to um rip the hairs instead of actually plucking the hairs out so you're gonna have a lot of short hairs if you do not bleach your knots first so just pluck 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 and comb and it is giving scalp honey i was so excited i'm like this is gonna be a look so when i pluck my wigs personally i don't make it even my hairline naturally isn't even so like the other side i did it was not even at all it was giving a little bob moment okay but um yeah, this is the this is the wig before plucking. So it doesn't look bad, but you can definitely if you, you know, rewind, you can see the difference. But I'm just going to go ahead and pluck it, but that's it after. It does have a little bald, you know, moment, but I promise you it's going to look so good on my head. So you know, it's up to your discretion on how you want to do it. So all I'm doing is adding some serum to it and some Nairobi foam and I'm letting it air dry. I'm going to show you guys how I let my hair air dry. I like bend my um wig head all the way back so that the water can drip and the hair could be fuller when you like bend it back you guys will see it in a few clips the hair is just a lot fuller
So now to the part a lot of you are probably very familiar with is the install. I'm gonna be cleaning my hairline, of course. It just gets rid of any hair products, dirt, oil, anything like that, and helps my wig installs last longer. So this is how it's looking, honey. It's giving scalp. It's giving very realistic. I told you guys it was not gonna be even, but my hairline naturally is not even and has dips and curves. So I'm fine with my frontal looking like that. I don't need a perfect hairline that looks weird, okay? So I'm cutting the ear tabs, which is gonna be another story for another day. That part is so problematic for me so we're just gonna um, skip through that do what you do boo and then I'm just kind of measuring it to make sure it's where I want it to and I am doing a glueless install I do not use glue maybe once or twice a year I use glue but typically no I don't like to keep my wigs on I don't really like to sleep with them on and this is the easiest way to take them off and I feel like it's just better so just do what you do but I do not like to use glue so I'm just spraying my hairline then applying that I like to comb the lace into the product so it could really melt down and I use an elastic band and that's it so this install is actually gonna be a lot easier than my other ones that's why I decided to do a very thorough in-depth um, video with this particular hair because the hair speaks for itself it's super long full and the pattern is gorgeous I did not have to style it all I had to do was create a part and lay my baby hairs and call it a day so like we don't have to deal with the layering and the straightening and the hot combing we didn't have to do all that today which I did hot comb my edges a little bit but it's curly hair I did not really need to do all that so this is how it's looking you guys see what I mean with the hairline is popping so I'm just cutting the lace and I'm still not speeding anything up you guys because I really want you to see everything in real time because I don't want you to be intimidated or feel like I'm going too fast I want you guys to really learn from what I'm showing you guys. So now that the lace is cut, we're gonna pull out those same baby hairs that we did earlier or even less now that the wig is installed. And I wanted just soft baby hairs. I didn't want anything crazy. The hair, again, is already very long and very full, so I didn't need all that. But if you like that big baby hair fluffy look, that would be very cute with this too. I just was not feeling that this particular day. So even though I'm pulling out this much baby hairs, that does not necessarily mean I'm going to use all of that. It is, again, just creating a hairline as you can see and I typically do not add any baby hairs in the front I do not really know how to do that for some reason it never looks right and I don't really know how to do it so I'm just cutting off some of that extra lace and then I'm gonna spray my lace down again for an extra melt put the elastic band on and I'm gonna continue to style my hair I wanted a side part today so that's what I did but it's not a super defined um, side part kind of like a flip over but not as va va voom as a flip over. Yeah, I'm I'm confusing, but y'all get what I'm saying. And if you guys see steam um, coming in my face, it's because my hot comb is like so hot. So look how laid my wig is. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video and you're gonna see at the end of the video, um, my lace looked a little darker. It was because my bronzer. But prior to that, the melt is amazing. Ali Pearl has some of the best lace. It always melts, it always looks good. It always is super realistic. But my bronzer really played me that day. So that's why I was looking um, a little darker but just disregard that so I'm just cutting my baby hairs I always like to flip them now because it makes it a lot easier for me to swoop 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 I don't care if I have 
two strands of baby hair. I'm gonna flip it and then swoop it with some Nairobi foam. And I do that on both sides. One side is always um, a little wonky, but luckily, you know, the other side I covered it up a little bit because girl. And I just, um, your baby hair is again to each its own, it's your preference. Um, sometimes my baby hairs are easy, sometimes they give me a hard time. We just gotta see it through, okay? So honestly, this is pretty much the completed look. The hair is gorgeous and long, honey. It's diva vacay hair, okay? Not even just vacay, it's whatever you want it to be hair. And I'm just smoothing it out some more using my wax stick, making sure I have a scalpy moment. And then I continue to lay everything down and I beat my face. Um, my face looks very harsh, you know what I'm saying? But I've been like taking pictures and getting content. And a very beat face just looks a lot better in pictures. It translates a lot better. So that's why it's looking a little, <laughs> but I think I look amazing with the hair with no makeup. Like, look at that, look at the scalp, it looks so good. So I'm gonna talk to you guys at the end. All I'm doing right now is refreshing the curls with some foam and that's it y'all. So you guys, that is all the tea on how I get my wigs laid and slayed. This is gonna be for now my go-to video. If you guys ever need to know how I bleach my knots, any tips and tricks, I will be linking and plugging in this video because this is what I'm doing currently. The only difference between this wig and like my other wigs, I did not have to style this one because it's already textured. Typically after customizing, installing, I would have to style it, layer it, all that, but that could be a different video for another day, let me know. But this is pretty much the gist of everything. I kind of wanted like a flip over, but I also didn't want it to be too big, but like I didn't want a middle part. <laughs> yeah, you know. So you guys, this completes this video. Make sure you guys check out the description box and check out Ali Pro Hair. I will leave all their information down in the description box per usual. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.